Hello everyone, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today as you can see I have both of the Potomac Beads Best Bead Boxes, the smaller and the larger XL version of the box for October 2020. We're going to open these up together and also see some of the differences between the two boxes. So as usual, we'll start with the smaller box and that one starts at $25.99 per month if you want to do a monthly subscription. And they also have other options as well on their website if you want to sign up for longer periods of time. The price does go down monthly just a little bit. I also have a coupon code, it's OPAL10 with a capital O, and that will save you 10% off your very first subscription if you want to take advantage of that. So let's go ahead and get into this box. I believe the one I have here is the smaller version, and we will check and see what the theme is. They come in this great, sturdy, reusable cardboard box with a magnetic closure, and we have something different here on the top. It says, hello world. Okay, so it looks like these are a couple of new shapes for Potomac beads, which is very exciting and it's really cool that they're including this in their subscription box as kind of an introduction to these beads. That's really fun. We'll get into that in a second. And it looks like our theme is called Dark and Stormy, which certainly fits the time of year we're in and it's getting darker a lot earlier as well. Might be doing some nighttime beading and on the back we have the list of everything that's included including the pattern we get one pattern with this particular box as well as all the items that you need to make that pattern which is great especially if you're learning and then we have a whole list of things that we'll look at that are just extra things for your stash then as a reminder down below they have a website with all kinds of different ideas to get you thinking about what they send there are so many tutorials and different videos they have on their channel that you can check out for inspiration. All right, so underneath that we have our pattern and it looks like this month we'll be making the twisted tubular herringbone, which is a pretty classic stitch. And I look forward to exploring that one. I think that's a great addition to one of these best bead boxes. It looks like they're gonna be made with 8OC beads. And of course, everything we need for that is in the box below and they have been separating those things out. So it looks like everything we'll need to make that pattern is in this bag. So let's check this out first. So it looks like we have three different colors of Toho seed beads in an 8-0 size and all the colors may be a little bit different. So if you received this box as well, you may have received a few different colors than me. And we'll see that probably in the XL version. I like to show you guys how the colors can vary, but the actual types of beads should remain the same. So I have this opaque frosted lavender, this kind of metallic frosted blue haze, and then this brick red tone to put together, which actually seem to match up with the picture in the tutorial. And then to go with that, we get a gold plated ball clasp as well as it looks like some wire guards and four of these check glass round beads in the eight millimeter size. And there's a close up look at those beautiful luster and finish on these dark turquoise beads. There's a hole running through the center and they look like they coordinate well with the colors of that bracelet. So that gets us started with what we see in the box and there is a peek at the rest of our contents which I will get organized with and we will take a look at one at a time. All right, so the first thing we have to look at which I think is a great item to include in a subscription box like this is a bead caliper. So this can come in handy to figure out the different sizes of beads if you're not really sure. Just pop them in there and get that measurement to see what the diameter or the size is on that. That's a unique item to get. With all the unboxings I've done, I have yet to get a bead caliper in a box. The next item is a bag of six grams of check glass faceted round beads. These are the four millimeter size. So these are like our fire polish and it looks like they are a combination of a metallic bronze and you can see that deep purplish blue in the background. Those are very pretty. And then next up, we have a bag containing two of the Potomac Crystal Sunflowers. So let me pop these out since I'm able to do that. 
And there are some very sparkly, faceted, what appear to be like rivoli type crystal stones with the facade of a cup chain surrounding that. And then on the base, it looks like they have holes so that you could actually bead through those and use those in some type of bead weaving project or another type of sew on project. And the color I received, as you can see, is this very fiery, purpley red magenta type of combination. And then it looks like next is when we're getting into these two brand new shapes. And I just wanna take a look at that card again to see what that says. And there's a look at it for you guys too. And it says, meant to work together, the quad bow features four holes and allows you to create fun, unique geometric designs in your own beadwork. The pie duo features two holes and four beads fit together. Well, like a delicious pie. And it says, here comes the fun part. Another advantage of being a subscriber is that you get to design with the latest shapes before anyone else. So that's right. These are not yet available to anyone else. That's pretty cool. So both of these have come in the tone of black and they have an example to show you where the hole placement is on these beads. And I will pop them out so we can get a closer look. First of all, we will look at the quad bow beads. And there they are. You can see how they have a slightly curved shape and the four holes that are running through the shorter length of the bead all next to each other. And in the picture, it shows how these are surrounding the Pi Duos, which we can understand for sure how they got their name. There's a look at that bag. And quite a nice little handful of these as well. You can see these sort of triangular shapes with that rounded bottom, which makes these look like a slice of pie. And definitely have a similarity to the Kiops Parpuka bead, which is also triangular with the two holes that run from the point to the base. Sort of similar in size, but of course with that round base, they are a different shape all of their own. And the quality seems to be very good, which you'd expect from these types of Czech glass multi-hole beads, very smooth and glossy and extremely uniform. And then next we have two bags of Mookite gemstone beads. These are a type of jasper from what I understand. They come in all these different earthy, warm tones. You can see the shades that are really great for the fall in particular with the mustard yellows, the deep brick reds, the shades of caramel, burnt orange, taupe, and even some of these lighter colors. So that's really nice. They're giving us two bags. At first, I wasn't sure if that was a mistake, but it definitely says everyone would get two bags. And then the next item on the list are five grams of these gecko beads. These are like, to me, mini, mini daggers. They have that hole that's drilled through the top and then a slightly pointed base that gets flatter as the bead gets further down toward the tip. And I received mine in this warm copper metallic shade. And then next, because we do also get some bindings and focals and other things in these boxes, here's a bag containing some twisted jump rings in the antique copper tone. You can see that little twist design, which is pretty cool and something different than just plain jump rings. And I really like the color of these. It goes well with some of these other fallish tones that we're seeing in this box. And then next we have a dragonfly pendant. It is pewter. The color of this one looks to be like an antique brass. And it looks like it's got the two holes on either side of the wings, which is something that's pretty different. It's not just a hole on the top. And then there's a look at the back. So just another unique item to work with besides just the beads. And then next on the list, we have a bag of 36 Potomac Crystal Ingot Beads. These are very flashy, kind of match my nails actually. They are rectangular in shape, as you can see, kind of remind me of the type of faceting that the Chinese Crystal Cube Beads have, but kind of like two of them put together to form a rectangle. And quite a big sparkly handful of these Potomac Crystal Ingots which appear to be in good shape. And the purple then fades to kind of a silver and gold combination as you get toward the holes on either side.
And then our next bag contains a table cut button. This is called Rose Swirl Travertine. Beautiful combination. Makes it look like something other than glass. And there's actually the look at the front of the bead. Beautiful table cut, light pink on the front with the etch detail and the travertine that's kind of settling in all those little grooves. And there's a look at the back, which will make a beautiful clasp for a type of bracelet. And I'm always happy to add extra check glass buttons like that to my collection. And then finally for the smaller box, we have a bag containing the Miyuki Q beads. These are the four millimeter size and the color I received is called Sparkle Gold Lined Crystal. So a crystal clear with that gold metallic lining, lots of fun. And they actually have a pretty large hole as you can see and it's fun to get a different shape of Miyuki seed beads like this from time to time getting the cubes. So that's everything for the base box this month that I received at least. And I really think it's an excellent mix of materials, especially considering you get a pattern, everything you need to make that pattern. The fact that you get some other focals and findings, even a bead caliper, and the introduction of their two new shapes in the box. How fun is that? And it's nice that even though this is the smaller box, they're still allowing those subscribers to receive the new shapes as well, not just the XL box subscribers. So that's very cool. And again, it's a good mix of different types of items from check glass to one hole shapes, multi hole shapes, Chinese crystal, Japanese seed beads, and even some gemstone varieties. So now that we've had a look at the base version of the box, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and we'll take a look at the XL version, see how the boxes overlap, if there's any differences in colors from what I received here in the base box and the XL, and then we'll see what additional contents are inside that box. All right guys, so here I have the XL version and this one starts at $39.99 per month if you want to be billed monthly. And then of course, like the smaller box, you can sign up for longer lengths of time, which also brings down the monthly cost of the box just a little bit due to the fact that you do have to pay up front for those longer subscriptions. So let's pop this open. Theme is going to be the same. All right, so we have that same package on the top, Hello World, with our new quad bow and pie duo beads and explaining that. So we've already taken a look at that. Our theme again, dark and stormy, except that when we flip this over, we see that we have a longer list of contents. We also have two more patterns included in this box. With this one, you get three patterns. One is the same as the base box. Then we get another pattern that's different with all the materials that you need for that. And then a third pattern, which does not have the materials included, but of course, you know where you can get more of those. Then our beads for our stash, some overlap with these, and then some additional things that we'll take a look at. All right, so here's our first pattern. That's the twisted tubular herringbone, which we already saw. Here's our second pattern, and this is called Trois Fleurs. So from my two years of middle school French a million years ago, I know that means three flowers. So we'll be making some beaded beads with, it looks like some pinch beads and some crystal chatons, some pearls, some seed beads. Very cool. And then our bonus pattern, which doesn't have the materials included, is called the Bow Trio Chain Necklace, which is going to incorporate some of the Bow Trios, six millimeter rounds, and some seed beads. All right, so here is a quick peek of everything that's in our box. First, we have the bag that we already took a look at in the smaller box, and it looks like the colors I received are pretty much exactly the same except you can see that the round beads in this particular pattern are in a really pretty purple luster instead of the turquoise, which also coordinates with the contents. And then here are the materials all bagged up together for that second pattern that we'll take a look at in just a minute. And as for things that we have received that are the same, we have two dragonfly pendants in the XL version, but they do appear to be the same type of pendant. We have the same bag of Miyuki Cube 4mm Sparkle Gold Crystalline Seed Beads. Again, with the table cut Rose Swirl Travertine button. 
Also the two packages of Muakite six millimeter round gemstone beads. We also have the same bead caliper in the XL box. A bag of gecko beads, but these being in a different color, remember the other ones I received were in copper and these are in the magic apple kind of metallic backlit type of mix, very pretty. Here is the bag of Potomac Crystal Ingots in the sparkly purple metallic, which appear to be just like the ones in the smaller box. And also the two Potomac Crystal Sunflowers in the same red and magenta mix. And the Twisted Jump Rings, this time in the shade called Black Oxide, so like a gunmetal type of finish, which is different from the other ones which were in a tone of copper. And then I think finally, the last item that is in overlap are the check glass faceted rounds in the four millimeter size, the bag of these. And these of course being a different color, looks like maybe an amethyst hurricane type of variety, swirls of purple and crystal clear, which is a different color than the antique brass metallic and that bluish kind of mix in the other box. We'll look at these other contents in just a moment, but let's first take a look at the beads that are meant to be used with our Trois Fleur beaded bead pattern. And you can see first we have a bag of this waxed cotton chain necklace. That's cool. I'm going to take this out. I really like the feel of that cord. It's nice and smooth. It doesn't have that sticky feel that sometimes waxed cord has. And then what's great is it's already to go. It's got the lobster clasp, the extender chain, and they're secured tightly down on that cord. So all you have to do is add your beaded beads once those are done and you have a beautiful necklace. There's also a bag of pinch beads and I love this combination. There's six grams inside of the bag. These are the five by three millimeter size. And I think this tone will go great with our brown cord. These are the purple iris gold mix, which also has that kind of teal green, the burnt orange, different tones of metallic that are especially great for fall. We also have two bags of Miyuki seed beads included. We have a bag of size 15-0 in this creamy kind of Ceylon color, and then a bag of 11-0 in that really dark charcoal gray with the silver lining. I always like how they include the higher quality Japanese seed beads like the Miyuki brand. It definitely adds to the value of this box. Next for this pattern, we have some Potomac Crystal Bezeled Chatons. So these little sparkly crystals, I'll flip it over so you can see more of those little sparkles, kind of a milky opalescent type of combination and already in their settings and ready to be used in this bead weaving project. And then the last item for the beaded bead pattern is a bag containing four millimeter check pearls and I received mine in the color dark gray. There's five grams inside that bag. And I didn't mention it yet for the best bead box, but from my experience, they always include more beads than you need for the patterns that they include. So you end up having extras left over to use in other projects down the road, which I think is really nice. So we have five items remaining to take a look at. We're gonna start with the four pewter faceted olive beads in the nine millimeter size. And I received mine in the silver tone. You can feel that they have a little extra weight to them. They look like fire polish beads, but they've got that metal coating. So they're pretty metallic, very smooth, and they're pretty chunky due to the nine millimeter size. Next, we have a bag containing some round duos. It says there's six grams included in the bag. And this is the color that I received, this kind of pale, very light grayish purple tone with a luster finish and kind of a mottled effect with the coating that's on the top. And these are just like a check glass druck bead, but with two holes running parallel through the center instead of just one hole running through the center. And there's lots of patterns out there for these, especially on Potomac Beads website and channel. The next item is something also pretty different. This is a silver plated bezel bracelet, 12 millimeter. And it looks like these are gonna go with the next item we'll take a look at. 
in just a second, but this is pretty cool. So it is a full bracelet that is all ready to go. Another quick and easy project that you can make pretty much right from the box. It's got the clasp and extender included and a very shiny silver plating and those places ready to go for you to incorporate some 12 millimeter cabochons of your choice. Of course, they provide eight resin cabochons for you already inside of this box, and these are in the next bag, and these are the ones I received. Very, very sparkly, have that kind of druzy, glittery appearance. There they are outside of the bag, and you can see that these are definitely something that they are suggesting you could use right with that bracelet and glue them right in as a quick and easy project. They have a lot of texture and a lot of sparkle. And there's a look at the back, nice and flat, ready for you to glue down on the cabochon base. And the very last item for me to share from the XL box is a bag of Matubo 60 seed beads. And the ones I received have the cut on at least one side, so it makes these pretty cool to use in things like fringe because that cut side shows up on part of your project depending how the beads are turned, but not on all of them. And that's a very cool kind of jet black with what looks to be kind of like a Picasso finish. And the list here says that we'd be receiving 8-0s, but these say 6-0 on the bag, so I'm not sure if some people may be receiving 8-0s that are different or if everybody's getting the 6-0 cut, but that's just an example of what you might find in your content. So this is the larger version of the box with all the contents spread out, including the three patterns there underneath. I've really been happy with this box. I think it's a very versatile one that I appreciate more for the teaching factor. I think it's nice that they include the materials that you need to make at least two of these patterns right out of the box. So if you don't have a lot of experience or you don't have a huge stash built up, it's fun to look forward to because they always send something different, a different technique or style of project to do that also goes along with the videos that they have if you prefer to learn that way. And it helps you build your experience in bead weaving if you're looking to do more of that. And let me not forget that they also included the two new shapes inside of this box, which is a great perk as well and gives us even more value. So I hope you enjoyed checking out both of these boxes for the month of October. Don't forget, I have the coupon code OPAL10 if you want to save 10% off your first subscription. And you can check out their link to the website to sign up right down below the video. And I'll leave that coupon code down there as well. If you enjoyed this video and if it was helpful for you, I hope you'll give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And definitely subscribe while you're there because I'd love to have you come back for more beading fun just like this. If you'd like to leave a comment down below, I always appreciate that as well. And I love to hear from you guys. I may be back to share one or two of these patterns in a future finished jewelry update. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, I hope you guys are just doing your best to stay healthy, well, and creative. And as always, happy beating.